Babe, can yeah. you take the kids to school? Okay. Yeah, okay. Today is cupcake day. Remember that it's our turn to bring snacks, all right? You got that? Got it. Do you have the kids' masks? Yep. Do you have their lunches and their yep. other snacks? Okay, great. All right. Thanks, babe. Yes. Oh, yes. It's finally time for me to sit and write. Hmm, let me continue with these couple of pages. She leaned against the doorframe, her figure in full view. He walked up closer to her, touching her cheek gently. Oh, this is good. Oh, yes. Hell no. Is she crying? Oh, my God. I just put this child to sleep. This cannot be happening. It's a little longer. Shh, just try to sleep. Mommy really needs to write. No, she really... Oh, my God. She really, really, really needs to write her manuscript. It's over there. She really... Babe, I know, I know, um, I know you just got home. The dinner's still not ready yet. Just give me a minute. You, you think you can give me a minute? That'd be great. Yeah? How about you sit down? Great. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry, Mama. Don't worry, I've got your back. Today we're talking about writer mamas and some of the problems that they face. Let's go. Welcome to Coaching with Casey, and this is the place for introverts, writers, and writer mamas. Today, you guessed it, we're talking about problems that mama writers face. These are things that come up all the time in my coaching business, and moms come in and they have these problems, and we have to deal with them. We have to tackle them and find solutions to help them so they, they could be able to write their manuscripts. One of the first generalized problems that I see when mama writers come in to see me when they first get their consultation is definitely time management. This is a huge issue because with time management, they're trying to squeeze the time out so they can write their manuscripts. They have children, they have busy lives, they may they have their careers or their stay at home mothers and they need to be able to find that time or allocate that time just so they can write. The next that I often see is poor organizational skills. Now, this doesn't mean that you're a bad person or anything. It just means that you don't have a knack for planning. This means anything from your schedule, creating to-do lists, having an organized day so it's not chaotic. Another biggie, but also toughie, is emotional guilt. This is guilt where you want to spend time with your children, however you have other things going on. You want to write your manuscript, but you're torn because you want to spend time with your children. And not being able to have an organized system where you can write and also spend time with your kids is a huge problem. Therefore, many of these moms suffer this type of guilt because they want to spend time with their little ones and it's hard for them to juggle everything and balance their time. Another is dealing with interruptions. This could be anything from a phone call, someone stopping by, maybe work is being done on the home, or a hubby needs something and you're rushing to get these things done. Now, the whole point is you have to be able to refocus and get your work done. Here's where a lot of people get hung up. They can do the multiple tasks. However, when it comes on to completing the task at hand, which is writing their manuscript, they tend to procrastinate and not really get to the heart of the matter. Another one I often see is unrealistic goals. It's basically not your fault. However, setting these goals can be disruptive to your overall achievement. For example, goals have to be three things. They have to be measurable, which you have to give the goal time. Another thing, they have to be realistic, meaning it's something that can be done within the space of time you give it, whether it's a short-term goal or long-term goal. And next, it has to be attainable. Is it something that you can do? Is it something that you can manage given your current situation? And are you able to put in the effort in order to achieve that particular goal? Another is lack of commitment. This is an issue because you have this goal in mind, which is to get published. However, you find that your days are either too busy and too overwhelmed 
And sometimes you just practice avoidance altogether. You procrastinate. You're not 100% in. You have to find out what's blocking you from being able to achieve this particular goal. And another thing that I see that all of my clients have in common is the inability to build their manuscript. This is a huge problem because they're not exactly sure where to start. They don't have the resources that they need. They don't have the support that they need or the guidance. All of these issues boil down to one goal, which is to get published. As your coach, I will be able to offer you workable solutions to your problems. Don't forget to click the link in my bio so that you can get your free consult and see exactly where you stand of getting published. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Casey Lossner.